I believe so. Take it, we're missing Bob in this class, huh? Then are you going to teach it? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> You're up. I can show you guys one thing, but okay. uh, not my class. <clears throat> and my voice is gone. I was at a, a company event last night with some agents in my office. And um, you guys ever went feather bowling? Um, well, if you have, I have one. What is it like? A lot of fun, and everybody can do it. Whether you're young, old, you know, there's not. It's not as hard as like regular bowling or what have you. And um, uh, I just did a lot of yelling, and so my voice is just gone. <clears throat> I'm a little get a little bit competitive, so that's the problem. Oh, but um, we had a ball. We had a lot of fun, Bob. I was just keeping them warm for you. I appreciate that because literally um, I was talking to a new agent, so I got distracted. It's okay. So are we going to be working on our website or should we just follow along with you? Um, well, I'm go I'll answer that with a question, okay? Mm -hmm. Is there something that you would like to do where you would be willing to share your screen and we could walk you through the steps? Or would you rather me show you how to do it? Actually, you can, I would love for you to work on my website. Okay. So at the bottom of your screen, you have a green arrow that says share screen, click on that. A little window will come up and it will give you a couple of choices. Pick the one that has your screen. Okay. This, cause that's kind of the way the one o'clock class went. Um, I they did some work and then I showed them a few things. Wait a minute, you want to share? So, so I should I have been should I have logged into my website? Um, you will once. Oh, okay. So I'm going to hit screen. screen. first. You so got to share your screen, then we can get to there. Okay, so share screen, iPhone, iPad, HomeBot. What's that? Um, up in the top left corner, typically, is the screen you're going to want to share. Which is your screen. That's the one you want to click on. Oh, cool. Okay. Yep, that's the one. Awesome. So then go to your website. And I think it is right here. That's it. All right. So what, what are you looking to do? everything because i haven't done anything with it <laughs> well i mean okay. i have i have started and i've stopped and i haven't gone back and then i'm really committed <clears throat> to having it done so and well, i have a session with i have a session with you tomorrow so may, if somebody else wants to do it i don't mind um i was gonna say because when you give me the whole enchilada and say everything that's a pretty broad statement okay we need to get it down a little bit okay well um, let's look at my website and see if i have the basics okay 
So I only had my my um I had my social media things inputted yesterday. Okay. So that is done. So do you want to look at the site and then we can go from there? Sure. Scroll on down for me. Okay. Everything's good there. Custom search. All we need to change that. Okay. Okay. Keep going. About me, full bio. Oh, my goodness gracious sakes alive. We don't want that there. We don't want what? <laughs> um, the full bio? But, okay. I'm just getting a feel for what you got. Okay, good. I haven't really done anything, so this is what you get. Okay, so there's a few things. Let's at the very top, click on the about me. You don't have to scroll up. It's already sitting there waiting for you. Oh, about right here. Me. Yep. Okay. And then my bio. Uh-huh. Select my bio from under about me. Okay. Okay, so that nice bio that you have at the bottom of your home page uh-huh you want to share that bio with your admin so that it'll show up on this page okay um okay so what do you mean so i i don't want to sound like i'm silly or not nope, smart okay. but that's um, what i'm feeling right now what do you mean i need to share with my they don't have this no they don't because and I didn't it, put that in there. I don't even remember typing that unless I did it a long time ago. So um, let's go to welcome to your new home. Go click on that. That's your home screen. The, welcome to your home. Okay. Welcome. Every time I go, okay, there. Okay. And again, one of the problems when you share a screen, un unfortunately, the toolbar ends up being right in your right where you want to go all the time. To you left click it and get rid of it. Okay. So let's scroll all the way down to the bottom. Okay, that right there. Um, this part right here. This part right there. That's what you want to share with your admin. So that when they input it into Dash, it will show up on the tab about me, my bio. And there's two reasons for it. Um, one, so that it's there. So they, if they click on, they may not scroll all the way down to the bottom of your page to learn about you. Okay. They may mm -hmm. just look at your menu tab and go to about me. And then when they click on my bio, there's nothing there for them to read. Okay. But the oh, other, just... thing, other thing that's really important here is that this bio will also show up in Moxie Present on the agent profile page. So you get two for one. So I should copy and paste it and send it to them. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay, cool. Not to sell. Now, let's go up a little bit to where it said custom search. Okay, oh, right there. So what is this custom search? What is it, what is it, what is it, what is it, what is it showing me? Um, somebody's listing in Bloomfield Hills. Oh no, let's go dig deeper than that. Come on now. Is it fine homes in the States? It probably is. I'm guessing for the price point. Yeah. Okay. So what I want you to do up at the top on the black bar in the far left corner, it says my sites. And then it says admin home. Oh, my site. Okay. Click on, no, click on admin home. Oh, okay. Click on the word home now. Just click on the word home. There you go. And that will get us there as well. So I want you to drop down three words to the word home page, and I want you to click on home page.
Now I want you to scroll on down this page. So I'm gonna take a look as we go, okay? Keep going, doing good. Right there underneath your name, add the word Realtor for your title. And then down below your email, I want you to add the words Century in 21. And Century, oh, go back up, back up. Right there where it says Town and Country, before Town and Country, I want you to add the word Century. And Century is all in caps because it is a branding thing. So click in that box right there. Yep. What do you want me to do? Type Century, all in caps. And then 21, space 21, and space. One more space for me. There we go. And then we're gonna keep scrolling down. Keep going, keep going. Okay, stop right there. Where it says my office listings, I want you to click on that and select featured properties. And then just below that, it says custom search. Okay, so now what this is telling me that this is homes in Farmington Hills. So highlight custom search and replace it with homes in Farmington Hills. Now we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom and we're gonna click on publish. Now, before we go take a look at what we've done, I wanna do a couple more things. Just to the left of your cursor, you see the words about me? It's in the black, it's, it says about me. It's about three quarters of the way down the page on the left-hand side. Not, oh, yes, I do, okay. Okay, click on that. And see, up oh, there's that, that stuff is in there. I want you to scroll down. I want you to add the word Realtor again underneath your name. And then I want you to add Century 21, just like we did before. Hey Bob, if you had any luck adding the R copyright at the end of Realtor? Yes, absolutely. Alt 0174? I, I had to do that. Isn't um, it Alt 0174? Is that's what I've been trying? It seems to work sometimes. Um, actually, I just go to realtor.com and I copy it from there and paste it. I'm trying the old 0174. Okay, work. so Lydia, go up and click on right after the word realtor. Nope, underneath your name. Right there, just above where you're at, click in that box well, realtor where it says box. realtor. And what did you say, <laughs> Steve? Yeah, I think it's be all caps too doesn't it it should be all caps in my world yeah yeah realtor is all caps realtor is all caps yeah and then if you hit option r if you're on a mac it'll give you the little r oh macs are different than windows that's good to know yeah so what am i doing now what is are your you... what type of computer are you on she's on a windows I'm on... pc i'm a so... pc I've, uh, okay. I've, I've used successfully the hold the alt key down and then in your numbers go 0174 and then let go. It should, it either works or it doesn't. Well, hold on a second. And then, yep. hey, Bob, I got a question. Do. 
uh, on the about me settings, my social medias are all blank. You have to give that to your admin so that they can input them into Dash. Thank you. I have a question now. I have a Mac, so how do I get that uh, that symbol after Realtor? Valerie? I, yeah, you hold the option key. Uh huh. I thought you said the AUG key. This That's is different, Lydia, for a Mac. Okay. okay. For, for a Mac, you hold the option key and then the letter R. Oh, okay. On for the PC? Alt. Uh -huh. Hold that down. Uh huh. And then 0174. Hit mm -hmm. those four digits. Yeah, that did. I'm sorry. This didn't marks, happen. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't work for me either. With my Mac. Okay, so up at the very top and the left on the right hand side, you see the plus sign. Nope, all the way up, all the way up, 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 up to the top of your page. Top of your okay. page, all the way up. Okay. Yep. Click that. Uh huh. And then type realtor.com. Go ahead to hit return or enter, whatever it is. Oh, I don't want to. Up there where it says find realtors, go over, move your cursor by there, and it's going to give you a drop down menu. See that Realtor all in caps with the R after it? Mm -hmm. I want you to highlight and copy that. This one right here? Yep, the one all in caps. Copy that. And then go back to where it says about, yep, right there. Scroll down, highlight Realtor and paste it. Oh, I see what you did. Control P, where's my P? Oh. <laughs> oh, I did something weird. Oh, Hold that's on. okay. Click cancel. Mm. Oh, shit. Excuse me. Click cancel. <laughs> Lower right corner. Click cancel. <laughs> I don't even know what I, all of a sudden I feel like all the lights are on top of me. Okay, what am I doing? I'm Lower right there. corner. Click cancel. There you go. Okay. Go back to the about me. Click on canceled at the bottom of that window there. That's your print window. Lower right oh, corner. Oh, you guys, hold print, on a second. And then it says cancel. Don't click on oh. print, click on cancel. Click on cancel, not print. I have to move you guys from there. Hold on. When you click on cancel, it's gonna go away. I got it, hold on. I have to move you guys. Okay. There you go. Okay. Okay. So hit Control V. Control V. <gasps> Voila! I love it. All right, I can take the call. What did I miss? Did you? Was it all 0174 or no? <laughs> no, we did. We copied it off of Realtor.com. Oh, okay, gotcha. All right. So go down and save the profile. Okay. Now we're going to go back to home page and we're going to replace it there since we got it one place. We might as well do it everywhere. So go okay. back to home page, which is about eight words up from the word about me. And then scroll down. And if you want to change the realtor here is one place. Let's control, control me B. again. Okay. Awesome. Now scroll back up. Do you want to replace that realtor where you say realtor consultant? Yeah. Control V again, and then go all the way down and publish. Now we got one more step we're going to do, and then we'll go look at all the changes we made. Over on the left-hand side, three words below the word homepage is property list. Click on property list. You see it comes, yep, there you go. 
the third one down, click on the word edit underneath featured. Under feature, click on edit. Okay, I want you to select my active listings. Come down three to my office's active listings. Go back and turn off my sold listings because we don't want it there. There is a place for it, but not there. Come down to my office's open houses. Go back and turn off my sold listings again. We don't want to confuse people by mixing them. And then go down to my company's active list. Why does it keep hitting? Why does it keep coming back? Just click it once and go and move. This is the third time I'm clicking it. Yep, but just move. Okay. okay. Go down to my office's active listings. So I've got down, my down, my down. Yep. Go keep going down. There you go. You just went past it. My company's active listings. Okay. Okay, so it's thinking a little bit. I'm going to wait till it stops saying waiting for eligibility over there in the left hand lower corner because it's thinking about it. Now that it did, I want you to go click on exclude pending all four times. Exclude pending. I'm looking for it. It's right next to my active listings. It's right next to my office active listings. Okay, well, I have to move you guys again. Hold on. Okay. Um, exclude pending on all four. Oh, I got it. Okay. Exclude pending. Exclude pending. Okay. And then scroll down a little bit. You're going to see the word custom on the right hand side. Where it says custom, click on that. Oh, you passed it. Right hand side, it's right there. Click on that and select listed date. So let's uh, let me explain why the bar is doing its thing. So right now, each and every day that as listings are added to the company throughout the company, your page will always have the newest listings at the top under featured properties. Any and every property that is on your website will always have your contact information, whether it's your listing or not, doesn't matter, okay? Very so, cool. From an SEO standpoint, this is a big bonus because as new listings are added to your page each and every day, the yield boost, which is a, a SEO, search engine optimization plugin for WordPress, which is what our website is, it will reach out to the search engines and say, hey, I have new content, I have new information, I've been edited, so index me. Each time that your page is indexed, it will move up the chain of relevancy when searches are conducted. Wow. So now that I said all that, go all the way down to the bottom and hit publish. Go two words above property list to site pages, and then select all pages from that. Site pages on the left. Do you currently have any active listings? Yes. Okay. So I'm, we're going to leave that there. You have, so your active listings are under on there. Your sold listings are on there and featured properties. So we're all good. Go ahead in the upper left corner where it says visit site. So now you see underneath your name, you have Realtor. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. You have the word Century 21 now before Town and Country. Right. Keep going. And again, you can select any of those properties. It's always going to come up with your contact information. Go ahead and go down. And now it says Homes in Farmington Hills instead of Custom Search. Hmm. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yep. Now I'm going to steal the thunder.
because there is a couple of things I most certainly do want to share with you. Should I log out of here or are you going to lock me out? I already did. I, I'll get you out. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Again, I love I love class participation. <laughs> uh, let me. But you know, Bob, I need to say this. If I were if I were someone else sitting in this class right now, I would probably have to do what you did with me again, because if I'm listening to you and doing it at the same time, I don't know that everybody would have gotten, and I should not speak for everybody, but that's how I am. That's how my brain well, works. I would have had to be doing it with you like you did with me. So I don't know how the other people feel. That's, there's the reason why I record what I do. Okay, cool. So first off, So, boop, 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 boop. gotta get back uh, to this. Uh, may I ask a question? Absolutely. Okay. And the the feature properties. Um, I know you said that when uh, someone goes there and clicks on it, it shows that you know you're the agent for the property. Yes. Is there a way, um, for example, if I wanted to 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 post one of these properties? on my Facebook page. Yep. In fact, that's one of the first things I'm going to show you how to do. Oh, oh great. Yeah, I want to know how to do that because I haven't been able to figure that out. <laughs> OK, so um, I'm going to grab this one right here in Portage Township, and I'm going to click on it. Right, OK. And see, my information comes up. Yeah. So the very first thing you'll have to do, and again, if you have a, an Apple, it's easy. If you have a PC, typically you have a, a tool called Snippet that will allow you to take a picture from a picture. In other words, I'm come, I'm going to come up here, draw a box around this. Right. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to basically take a screenshot. Right. Then I'm going to come up here to the URL at the top that's now highlighted in blue, and okay. I'm going to copy it. Okay. Okay. Then I'm going to go to Facebook. Uh huh. Get to the right page. Mm -hmm. Create a post in Facebook. Mm hmm. Check out this property. Okay, let's think. Okay. Oop. And so the reason why I, I had to go get that picture was because it won't just automatically put the picture in. Right. Hmm. So you just paste it in there. Yep. Okay. I just up this my screenshot. I just added it to it. Added it to it. And so voila, there it is. So how did you copy that? Copy I with. saw what you did, but you how did you do it? Okay, on an Apple, it is um, Command Shift Four. Right, okay. I know how to do that. Yeah. Okay. And then on a Windows, like I said, there's a, a, a app that's called Snippet that comes oh. with a computer. Hmm. Um, I only know that because I actually drove a, a PC for forty plus years, but I switched over. I'm a convert. <laughs> okay so um, there's an app oh hold on a second so there's an app called snippet that i need to download on my computer is that what you're saying um actually go in the lower right lower left hand corner where you have the katana and type in snippet and see if it comes up 
I have your screen up, so I can't do it. Okay. In the I when figured out your when you're on your um, desktop, in the lower left hand corner, you have that search bar. Uh -huh. Type in snippet, okay. and if you don't have it, it'll actually give you the option to go get it. So. Oh, cool. But most PC users I know has it. But I want to show you a couple of other things because what I just showed you is valuable. And it's valuable because that's what is called a backlink. In other words, you're using your social media to drive traffic to your website. And you cannot, you can't pay for that. I mean, it's just, it's tremendous. So I want to give you a couple of other options of how to do that. So I need to come into house logic. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to paste it in the chat because all you need, this is a free service to all of us as a member of NAR. Oh, okay. Okay. So, um, what it's going to ask you for, it's going to ask you for your nine digit nerds number, which is your um, NARS number. If you don't know how to find that, I got a link for that too. Um, of course, your admin will have it. But when you log in, all you need is your nerds number and your last name. So this is what you come to. This is house logic. And I'm going to show you two different ways of doing this. The first one is I'm going to simply click on, oops, didn't mean to do that. Click on get started. And I'm going to grab this one right here, home improvement, return on investment. And I'm going to click on select that. And when I did that, did you notice that this came up automatically? Mm -hmm. Next step. Mm -hmm. So then I'm going to come over here to the last one, add to blogs or websites. And oh. I'm going to click that when I did. Okay. There it is. Next step. So the first thing I want to do hmm. is I want to go copy this so that I have a title. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go back to my website. Look at you. Close this out. Get rid of that so it's not confusing. Click on admin home. Hmm. So when you're in admin home, Mm -hmm. You come over to site pages, and if you want to go to all pages, you can, but all you really need to do is click add new. And we're going to create a custom page. How awesome is that? Very. <laughs> so I copy that title, so I'll go paste it in there. Then I got to go back to house logic. Because you see all that code up there? You got to put that I'll in. Copy that too. Mm. So I copied that by clicking on the button. Come back to my tab. And under tools, tools right there, it asks for source code. Mm -hmm. So then all I have to do is paste the code in there, click OK. And now, I have a new custom page entitled wow. Improvement. So that, is that part of your blog or is that something completely different? Um, it, it's, it is not, it will be in just a minute. Oh. <laughs> um, because now I'm going to come back to site pages and I'm going to go to all pages. It's going to be down here at the bottom. So I'm going to grab it. And I'm going to drag it upwards. It's a lot of pages. And there's all my blog stuff. So, oh, looks like I already got it in. I'm going to drop it in right there. I'm going to get rid of these because this was last class. Oh, looks like I got to bring it up again. That's okay. I got to bring it up again because I got rid of those. Got 
Gonna go all the way down, hit publish. I'm gonna go visit my site. Gonna go to my blog, right there it is. Hmm. I'm gonna grab this URL. Go to Facebook. And drop it in there. Yep. And the nice thing is it's gonna actually give me the title, Home Improvement. Oh, I've been wondering about that. Cool. Let me So now this is what's cool about this is I can now get rid of this. So it just says home improvement return on investment. Hmm. And when they click on it, and of course, you get the full article. Mm. Oh, that's so, nice. I like yeah. that. Yeah, I didn't know we could do that. Um, absolutely. Again, the best part is, is we don't have any issues with copyright or anything else. Mm, because we are part of the because we're part of NAR. Yeah. And uh -huh. what's even cooler is because it takes them here again, they can share on Twitter and all that other good stuff. Okay. So you're saying you can share from there to Twitter? Yep. Cool. Mm -hmm. And again, yeah. what would I do on Twitter? I would go grab where is it? Right there. Twitter. I'd grab this. Yeah, if you think you got a lot of places to go, I tell you, I got lots of places to go. Yeah, you do. I'd be lost. <laughs> I got to go get my title, right? Again, why am I doing it that way? I'm doing it that way because I want to drive traffic back to my website. Mm. Mm -hmm. So that's one way of doing it. We're going to click on start over. I'm going to click on this because I wanted to make sure I don't have any articles selected. So what? this is what I like about this. Um, so you can come in and you can actually get a theme, um, quick DIYs that pay off. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. And now look at, I have five articles. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now, if your website under your blog, if you got room, cool. If you want to separate it by sellers and buyers, you can do that. Okay. But let me show you, I'll close that one out so that I'm here. You can select up to five, one, two, three, four, and five. Oh, Click on next step. Oh, okay. Click on select. Next step. So this one is going to be a little bit different, right? I'm going to have to come up with my own title. Hmm. Site pages, add new, custom page. I'm going to go ahead and use tools and go ahead and paste this in. Did I not copy it? 
Cold copy. There we go. And now I have all of them. Really? So hmm. let me go back to house logic because remember there was, I picked a theme, right? Right. Go back. And my theme was quick, quick DIYs. DIYs. See if I can copy that. But if not, quick DIY updates that pay off. Come right. back here. No, nope. it's got all that gobbledygook. You so, can just type it in, right? You think? Quick. Yeah. Again, hit publish. Come back to site pages, all pages. It's going to be down there at the bottom. And I'm going to drag it up and drop it into my blog. So it's up here in the blog. And I did one where I did it individually. And mm -hmm. I did one where we have a whole bunch. Okay. Now you can do it either way. Okay. Mm -hmm. The advantage of doing it this way is, is you can actually create a post and send it to this particular article. Here, you're going to just set, you're basically, you can create one post, but it's, they're going to get all five articles. Mm -hmm. At one time. Mm -hmm. At one time. So if you wanted to have more content, you could actually break those up and do every single one individually. But I wanted to, I want to show you have options. Okay. Because maybe you want to, I mean, if we look at house logic, there's a lot of themes. Mm -hmm. So maybe doing it with all the five articles at a time is the way to go so that you can have more themes on your website. Mm. I don't want to tell you what the right way or the wrong way is to do it is because it's truly an individual taste. If you wanted to have repair or replace as a topic, if you, outdoor space equipment, again, as summer comes along, this outdoor space equipment or easy tips to make outdoor um, space cool, that's where those come into value, okay? Um, so my point is, is that think about the seasons. Um, and so you might want to kind of rotate your information. Well, here's what's, what's, what's cool about this. So let's say that that's, that's what we did. I decided that I'm going to do this by season. So right now, let me get rid of those. So right now, when I click on my tab up here, and it's right there, right? Mm -hmm. But since I want to do this by the season, I'm going to come back and I'm going to simply hide because by hiding them, I don't have to recreate them. I'm gonna hide them, I'm gonna hit publish. I'm gonna refresh this page. And now I have one, but I don't have the other. So if I go back, I'm going to hide that one too. Again, oh, let me do that. We 
refresh the page. And now they're both gone. So my point would be is you could actually go over to House Logic, grab all this stuff while it's available, because they will update it. Right now it's like best of 2022. That's going to get updated. Um, fixes for the worst of winter is not applicable now. January homeowners must do. That's not applicable right now. Tax time tips for homeowners. Oh man, mm -hmm. that sounds like a March post to me. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. And again, there's a total of 10 articles, folks, for mm -hmm. tax tips. Wow. So that's lots of content. Because you can only put five at a time. So tech tips part two. Um, <laughs> let's pick another category. Easy tips to make outdoor space cool. There's only three results for that. Um, help home buyers stay on budget. There's five. So it varies. There's a lot of other cool stuff in here besides um, this. Mm -hmm. I typed in the word guide, a guide to the options of roofing, guide to bathtub options, when is foreclosure removed from credit report? Mm -hmm. So folks, there's all kinds of different ways to find what you're looking for. And that's just one example, because in reality, if you come, like I had you go to, uh, let's go to realtor.com. Now we could, this one we can make short and sweet. I'm gonna go to sell, see more selling insights. Which property brother won versus the other? Um, I, am not, I can't even do that. I'm sorry. HETV <laughs> just doesn't work for me. Most. Um, so I have this URL. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go to site pages. And I'm going to click on add new. Only this time, I'm just going to make a menu link. I'm going to paste the URL. I'm going to go back and get the title. Okay. Paste the title in there. I'm also going to click this, open this link in a new browser because I don't want, I want them to be able to leave my website because again, this is all about driving traffic. So I'm going to save it. And of course, how to price a home in the seller's mark. It got cut off. So I'm gonna drop that in right here. I'm gonna hit publish so that I save its spot. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna click on edit because I don't want it to stop on mark. I'm gonna get rid of the word mark because didn't have enough. Okay. Save it like that. Go visit my site. And it takes them right to the article. Mm. Connecting my website to realtor.com gives value um, because again, <laughs> it's an edit, it's a link, it helps um, yield boost work for you. Mm -hmm. uh, the downside to doing the ones from realtor.com is while it gives you a benefit because you can drive the traffic because they started on your website and there, there is a bonus for that. But the downside is you can't share it to your um, social media. So mm -hmm. there's a reason for each. Mm -hmm. 
So, um, <sighs> questions? How do you connect your realtor? How do you how do you connect your realtor and your website together? Realtor.com. Um, through that article. Yeah, he put that article in. That article came from realtor.com. So when they click on it, it automatically goes to realtor.com. Mm -hmm. And it creates a new window. The nice thing is they're still on my website. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So Bob, I have a question. Sure. All those tabs that you had at the top, where yeah. you have sellers, buyers, is that a quick review that you can show us how to do those? Oh, shoot, yeah. That's okay. easy. <laughs> okay. That's super easy. Okay, let's do it. All right, let's do it. So, again, site pages, all pages. So essentially anything out here to the far left is a menu item okay and anything to the right of that is going to fall in underneath that mm -hmm. okay so yeah. how easy is it man it's crazy easy add new instead of custom page and instead of menu link this time we're going to choose menu item okay Submit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My boo boo. I'm going to um, add another new one just because. We're all old enough. We all know Yogi and Boo Boo. Yogi did. So we come down to the bottom, and here they are. So this one I'm going to drop right here above local housing. And then Boo Boo, I'm going to take him up further, and I'm going to drop him right in between the two. And then I'm going to hit publish. And the reason I chose odd names is because it'll stick out faster. So there's my boo-boo and there's bear. So we can just type in buyers in the menu. Yep. And you can have whatever you want it to say. Oh. And if you want to have content in under it. So yeah. if I want to, let's like I have my boo-boo. Let's say instead of having bear down here, let's say I want to, I want bear to be underneath it underneath it like that so now when i click on um publish and i go back to my site see bear is missing but here it is my boo boo bear and of course it doesn't go anywhere because i didn't put anything to it but um that's how you create these and then that's how you put stuff in so it falls underneath. That's why, like on properties, all the cut my custom searches, you decide the order here. Now, here's something I didn't show you too. Um, so let me see. I, let me get a smaller one. So my boo boo, let's say that I want to move this entire block from where it is. I can actually take the parent, which is my boo-boo, and I can bring it up. I can drop it in here. Got to move it out to there. Come on. Don't do that to me. I'm going to drop it in here. It's being a pain. Mm I don't know why it's giving me fits, but what's supposed to happen is like that right there, where I move it, move it, and I drop it. It takes everything with it. I don't know why it was giving me fits down below. Mm 
and the, the reason I show you that is because, um, so there's my boo-boo. The reason I show you that is, is because if I, like, what about Bob? I don't want to have to move all of those individually. I grab it and I can move the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Bob, I kind of missed how do you put um, things up under, um, like you've got what about Bob and you've got all that information. How did you do that? Again, I kind of didn't see that. Okay. So I'm gonna put boo-boo down there. So mm -hmm. right now it's just my boo-boo. Right. Let me save this. Go visit site. And so under my boo-boo, nothing happens. Mm -hmm. But when I take and I put, so oh, this is the menu item out here, and yeah. this is anything that's going to show up under the menu item. Gotcha. Okay. And the nice thing about it is, is when you realize you don't really want it because it says my boo-boo, you can get rid of it. Delete it. Okay. And the nice thing is it actually asks you to confirm that you want to delete it so you don't have to worry about making a mistake. But like I was having trouble getting it where I wanted to, just don't click publish because publish is like a save. Just hit, mm. I hit clear page cache and it went back to the way it was. So um, that's the other thing. If you get into creating pages, So if I didn't make this clear, and again, I'm just going to put some letters in there. I'm going to save the draft because what the draft does, it automatically creates the URL. Then I'm going to click on Builder. So in Builder, um, you can either use the templates that are available and edit them to your liking, or you can literally pick and choose, I just put in a single row. Um, I'm gonna grab, put a heading in there. Change the heading, there you go. And again, I can um, come in here with style. I can change the color. I can change the size of the font. I can center it. I can I can bold it. I can do all kinds of fun stuff. If I click save as, this means that I want to use this template over and over again. Okay, I just I don't want to have to recreate it as I create additional pages. So I can click save as. And so what happens is, is when you come up here to your plus mark, everything that you did that with shows up here. Like this one, text editor with, with um, heading. I like that one. So I dropped that one in there. And now the what this will do is this will have um, the heading. And then the content is different. Mm -hmm. And I think it's saved in white. Um, let me go to style for description. Yep, sure enough. And again, if I don't want it centered, I can do all that. I come over here and I go to rows. Um, again, I could I could add two more columns. Come in here. I can do a video or a photo. As you add images and you upload them, you will create a library. Or you come over here and you click on upload, select the image, and you do it that way. This image ought to look familiar. 
There's that house mm. again, haunting us. You can also do the video. And again, video is um, embed Road King. Okay. We can stop playing that. We gotta find out where I was. I got too many pages open. There we go. No, that's not what I want. <laughs> that's not what I want. That's not gonna work for me. On the first day, I did twelve thousand dollars, and that was like wow. And now I have a Harley commercial on my page. So what I, what I was driving to is this. You're going to come up and you're going to click on, or not plus, but you're going to click on done. If you don't like the changes you made, just simply discard them. But if you save it as a draft, what it will do is it will save all the work that you've accomplished, but it will be hidden. If you click publish, it is exactly that. It will be published. But saving it as a draft, the nice thing is, is maybe you didn't finish it. Maybe it was a work in progress or whatever it may be. And so always, 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 it'll be at the bottom. If you don't remember what you got accomplished, you can click on the word if you want to start building again, just click on edit. Mm -hmm. If you're not sure what you accomplished, click on view. Check out your work and say, okay, I know what I got to do. Now all you have to do is come up to the middle and click on the word builder and you can start building again. And it looks like I went over time. So I hope you got value out of that, folks. Um, sure did. Thank you so much. Yeah, that this was good. Thank you. And like I said, this is recorded, so it will be up on the um, YouTube here tomorrow. Uh, yes. You Did you record anywhere? And again, I could probably figure it out, but um, where you add the video on your front page? I think so, yes. In fact, the link that's at the top of the yeah. email that went out Monday that says yeah. Moxie website intro, it's yeah. in there. Okay. I got a couple people that asked me about that, and they said, well, I got to figure that out. Yeah, skip, to, skip toward the end. Okay. <laughs> Will do. Um, Thanks, Bob. This was great. All right. Thanks, Bob. Time. I appreciate it. Uh, Thank you. See you next time.